state which will live in infamy. In the councils of government, we must car guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. We abide our country and all who serve it, and the glow from that fire can truly light the world. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Read my lips. No, no. I did not have sexual relations with that one. Morning. Sunday morning. What difference at this point does it make? Okay. You, once Come again, on. gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> I'm trying to answer you now. American people deserve it. <laughs> what are we talking about? Come on, man. King County Little exchange program is back in federal way. The program was paused in that city for nearly two months after neighbors raised concerns about crime and hundreds of needles piling up in neighborhoods and homeless encampments. Como's Tammy Mutasa is live in federal way tonight to explain why the program is now continuing again in federal way. Tammy? Eric and concerned neighbors say that pause needs to continue. So the SCORE needle exchange ban has been coming to federal way for more than a decade. But since the pandemic hit, needles have been piling up everywhere. And an incident in this parking lot we're standing was a breaking point. In this park and ride lot. I couldn't believe I just said, I don't have a needle to exchange. Can you give me something? And then I'm presented with a box of 100 needles. Grace Lebrano says she got this box of 100 needles from a King County score needle exchange van after posing as an addict. I didn't know what to say. I went back to my car and I just sat there dumbfounded for a while. Neighbors had been concerned with open drug use and hundreds of needles piling up in parks, protected lands and homeless encampments. No matter what they do, it's still going to bring the drug addicts, the dealers, and the crime. In April, the Federal Way Mayor in King County paused the program. We don't have the authority legally at the City of Federal Way to stop this. Mayor Jim Farrell created a task force and sent this letter to King County requesting changes to score. The biggest one was for the van to cut back the number of needles distributed per person. The amount of needles that they're putting out is just not appropriate and not coupled with common sense. Now the program is back. King County says it's vital to the community. But public health says because of the pandemic and to promote social distancing, they'll continue using a CDC recommended, a CDC recommended, a CDC recommended needs based model rather than the one for one needle exchange. Drugs destroy individuals, they destroy families and communities. And we want to help people, you know, go in the other direction and get off of drugs. But we also want to make sure that you know, ultimately that we're not enabling. And that's really what this is about. The city's now tasked with cleaning up and finding more ways to help those struggling with addiction. Neighbors say the pause to figure all that out was too short. Everyone is really upset that the van is back because it just means everything is going to continue that was happening before. And I reached out to King County and officials tell me the van will be back two to three times a week here in Federal Way. And they can only meet with people in park and ride lots like this one or at their private homes. And of course, it has to be requested.